Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run a LoRa backend server locally in your system and, uh, through SherpaStack uh, backend server. First of all, uh, based on this text which I have prepared, uh, we need to install prerequisites. Um, uh, first I have to install uh, the Mosquito and Mosquito clients, Redis server, uh, Redis tools. Uh, I'll go to execute them. Because I had uh, installed them, so uh, it is uh, in my system, uh, it shows this message. So I go to the next step, and then uh, we need to install Postgre and uh, its uh, components so we need to execute this command uh, previously I installed so there is uh, this uh, message and then the next step we need to uh, run this command to uh, create a new user in Postgre and then we need to create uh, uh, these rules uh, first uh, the ship stack um, application server and then the ship stack net for server with uh, this login name so uh, we have to execute this to inside the um, Postgre school I go here and uh, of course I uh, created this uh, but uh, to show you how to uh, execute this command again I I used it here yeah because uh, I had uh, already created this I, I have this message again also for uh, network server I already it is already existed then uh, we have to create uh, an, uh, a database for the servers for the application server and also for shapestack network server then uh, we need the to switch to to the uh, SherpaStack application server so by executing this command now we are connected to SherpaStack uh, application server now we need to uh, create two extensions PGTRGM and also the uh, HS store um, in the Postgre. of the PostgreSQL and then uh, we need to set up the uh, mm, uh, software repository for uh, the shield stack and through this command because I had it uh, again nothing new happened then uh, 
hide the key for uh, downloading the chip stack you have to execute this command because we had it and then run the sudo update ok then I need to uh, uh, install the three components for uh, the, our backend system to to run. First, we need to install the script stack uh, gateway bridge. Uh, we have to install it through this command. So we have to install ship stack gateway bridge because I had installed it already, and then through this command we need to start it then we need to put it in our put system which uh, whenever your operating system starts uh, it will uh, start automatically so you don't need to restart or start the, uh, the gateway bridge uh, each time you restart your system Okay, to see, uh, check the 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 component is running or uh, no. We we can need uh, use these three uh, or four ways uh, through Junior CTL. Okay, as you can see, it is publishing the event and uh, everything is going on. This is the gateway ID and then in, in event in app we have our link with this id and uh, through this command also with sudo obviously It shows uh, it is start the gateway in UDP listener on this port, so it's okay. And then also it is possible to see the status of our gateway. see here shows that the uh, gateway bridge is uh, running correctly the same for other components so sudo up and install ship stack network server Okay, I had installed it uh, previously, and then we need to start this is the server. Start the ship stack network server, and then enable it. if the server is running correctly stack 
Okay, there is no error as you can see. The frame received, the auction frame received, and everything is going right. So we go to next step. Also, we check it through this command. You can see the guest server is uh, uh, binding and listening on the current port and uh, without any error it works. Then finally we check the status of as you can see it is running correctly. So, also you can use this command to uh, intercept the port uh, 1700 on your operating system. Okay, we go to the next step. We have to generate the data. In this tutorial, I generated the data using my virtual uh, gateway, a virtual gateway we used, and uh, here we use for a uh, LHT 65 temperature sensor. So we start. I started it now. Let's see if all the components uh, running correctly. Uh, also, I forgot to say we have to also run the, the, the application server uh, here. I will show you also for application server all the. Uh, steps again. Uh, I, we have we need to install also the ship stack application server. So, uh, so we have to install the ship stack application server based on here, and then start it and then enable it. I do it very quickly. Install and then. application server and then we need to enable application server now again through this journal CTL we check if the server is open running without any error as you can see it is updated and uh, it is uh, working correctly without any error and then we need to use this command to check also application server you can see without any error it is working and subscribing to this uh, topic and then finally using the system CTL status Check ship state application server. You can see we don't have any error and it works properly. So uh, we go back to see. Uh, okay, after running uh, our virtual gateway, we can 
check our uh, our um, API here uh, in our browser. We need to enter um, uh, to this um, uh, port uh, using this, uh, this port localhost 8080. You can see this login page and enter the admin admin as a username and pass for both the same before this you need to uh, um, configure um, two um, config files and uh, now I will show you config files 